Hey guys, and welcome to another spawner tutorial. This episode we're going to be um, working on a red cap spawner. Um, I've changed the design slightly since the one I built in my single player, and that was like a double spawner and stuff. The principles for these ones can be used for, well for this one can be used for multiple spawners as well. You just have to get a little bit creative with how you connect things up. Um, but red cap spawners can be found in a couple of locations. Um, so the the main one where you'll find tons of them is in the the roguelike dungeon. So I'll show a picture of what that looks like now. You'll see those structures all over the place. And if you go down to the first layer, you'll find red cap spawners like quite frequently. They're a pretty common um, spawn. Um, and that's if you if you're looking for like a multiple spawner design, I'd recommend going there because you you quite often find them quite close to each other. So your chances of finding some close enough together to actually make into a multiple spawner are much higher. The risk involved with um, with using the roguelike dungeons is that to make this design, you're going to have to dig downwards, and that means you're going to be cutting through much nastier layers of the dungeons. So that's the, the kind of the risky, high risk, high reward sort of approach. And the, the other way of doing it is to find one of these structures. I'll show that now on the screen. Um, these are quite common structures as well, but you'll only ever get one spawner in them. Sometimes you see troll spawners and sometimes you'll see red cap spawners in them. There might be a few other bits and pieces as well, I can't remember. Um, but the design that we're going for here is I, I, I've tried to take into account the fact that um, you don't really get a way of moving water until later in the tech tree now. Um, the liquid drainer isn't supposed to be craftable, although um, technically you can still do it. You're not supposed to be able to, so we're, I'm going to proceed as if you can't. Um, and so to be able to move water source blocks around, you need to be in the colored steel age and make a red steel bucket to move water around. So I wanted to come up with a simple design that will work, that you can make earlier um, in your, your Terra Firma Punk career. You can actually make this, well, technically you could actually make it in the Copper Age, but I recommend at least getting to the Iron Age so you can make a hopper. It'll make your life much easier, especially if you're using this as an AFK farm. Um, but it's designed so that as soon as you do get up to the point where you can place water source blocks, you can instantly upgrade it and increase the speed of it. So, uh, standard spawner design. Here's your red cap spawner. These guys are just over a block tall, I believe. Um, standard thing, you want four blocks on each side of the spawner. You can just about see that against the far wall there. You want to leave two blocks above them because they're slightly taller than one block, so you want to leave room for their head if they spawn in this, this layer here, and one layer below. Okay, so that's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine by nine empty space. Um, and this is going to be the same whether you do it in the dungeons or one of the above ground structures. You should, oh, potion's running out. You should end up with this sort of space around your spawner. And then you're going to dig down another one, two, three, four, five layers. Just dig the whole cube down another five layers. So you have this sort of space here. Um, and then decide which direction you want to push the mobs. So we're going to be going this way. It doesn't make a difference. It's not directional or anything like that. Um, and dig one, two, three, four, five, six blocks from the far wall. And then drop down one. Dig another one, two, three blocks. And then dig a little trench at the end here, which is two blocks deep, and just straight down to the to the, the edge of your cube. Oop. Before you do anything else, come back to the wall which is furthest away from that trench, and dig out the row of bottom blocks and just replace them some, with something which is easy to break, um, like carpenter's blocks. They're like my favorite things. They're they're only basically wooden sticks, and they break quite easily with an axe. Um, and then come to this wall and place signs just above the level of the trench. So the trench is up to here, and we're just one block above it. Um, you're not going to need those straight away, but this is just to make it easier to upgrade this farm later on when you get to the water source block. So place these here. Um, and then in the far corner of this room, mark this block. This is going to be where we dig our, our shaft down, um, but we're not going to do it just yet. Um, come over one, two, three more blocks. Mark your Y coordinate, of, uh, sorry, your um, X and Z coordinates, rather, of where this is. And then 
leave this place, go up to the surface, and dig down until you, you open up under this tunnel again. Uh, and trust me when I say you want to do this from the surface downwards, because usually there's layers of dirt and gravel at the top, and if you try and do it from the t from the bottom up, you're going to end up having dirt and gravel falling on your head, it'll break all your ladders, you'll fall down, and you will die. Okay, so once you've dug down from the surface, and you've got yourself level with the tunnel which you, you dug originally, you need to go down another 17 blocks until you get down here. So this should be 17 blocks down. Uh, and then you're going to just get rid of that stuff, dig another one, two, so you're in this block, one, two, three blocks forward. Okay, so you've got this little little passageway like this. And then place your ladders and go back up until you're level with that that little passageway you made again. And then find yourself in that corner of the room, directly underneath that, that block there, in the in this closest corner of the spawn room, and just dig down until you meet up with that tunnel. Okay, so then you're going to need to, uh, I guess you might need to replace some of these blocks actually as you go to, to get the the chest and the, the hopper placed, but in fact, let's um, let's just put this down Place your hopper. Oh, this doesn't like it. It's really temperamental, this. Um, how can we do this? There we go. That should be connected. So you got your hopper, then just place your chest in front of it. Make sure it's all sealed up again so you don't have red caps coming out after you. Place a stair or something over the top of that so that you can still open the chest and get the loot. And then you're basically finished. Right? This is the, the, the starter version of this of this mob farm. Just place a block here so that they can't get to you if they manage to make it over that gap. Okay, so this is kind of how this works. Um, like I say, it's not the quickest design. It's designed to be... Oh, it's actually not too bad there. It's designed to be cheap, easy to make early-ish game, and uh, a good stopgap until you can get some water. They're actually really flying through there, but the way it works, um, I'm just going to go back into creative mode here just to show you. The way it works is this little chamber here is deep enough that when the mobs spawn, they start collecting here and it doesn't prevent future spawns. So in the long run, you're actually not really losing any efficiency in this. It just takes them a while to find to find you, to make their way over to you, and they're they're pushing themselves into this kind of pit and dying, and the, the coal's getting collected down there. Um, but if you want to improve the efficiency of this, once you've got a source of water, <laughs> and they'll just keep building up and up and up, um, all you have to do is run in, break your carpenter's blocks, do this quickly just to show you and everything else is already in place and now they'll all get pushed oh yeah sorry you need one in this corner as well Ugh, stupid things there we go everything's in place you just need to place those water source blocks along the back one in that cor uh, back corner of the trench there and they should all get pushed once you replace this block there you go once you replace this Ugh. This is me not being used to being in creative mode. Get in there. There we go. Uh, they should all just get pushed straight into that. So it'll just start flushing them down into the hole. Um, so that's it. You should get quite a lot of coal, even from a single spawner. The more you can manage to string together, the more you will get, obviously. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for other videos, just let me know. I'm going to be working on a couple of other spawner designs as well. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!